sweep through the, the party, it steps up in sort of increments of the tone. It's kind of like a cheap filter volume control. This and then if we add the fuzz circuit in. I did a workshop here last year doing the VTEC phone bend and Martin asked me back to do another one this year so uh, this is way back in January time so I'd, I'd had a rough idea about doing the Atari Punk console or step tone generator and, but modify, making a more interesting instrument out of it so by adding extra circuits to it so we built an Atari Punk console then added a fuzz circuit for distortion and an amplifier to boost the signal and clarify it a bit and uh, a five-step sequencer to get rhythmic stuff out of it. So yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of my approach to a lot of circuit bending and building instruments and my music really is I kind of take a modular approach. So rather than building really complex instruments, I tend to focus on quite small simple things and then combine them to make something more rich and complex. You know, it's only recently in the past, let's like, say, two years that I've really got into, you know, creating these like kind of crazy synth, synthetic instruments. Then when I realised that you could do more with it, say, uh, bend the circuit of the instrument, then, you know, that's when I started to come to like things like these workshops that they put on every now and again. I mean, today, like, uh, we're going to be, like, learning how to create these Atari punk consoles, which uh, seem slightly more complex than the things that, you know, you do, say, to a Casio VL tone keyboard. Ooh. Circuit bending um, really started this time last year. I came to the course um, that uh, Stu ran here um, and made uh, something that I call the Honkatron. Um, and that was, the first, that was the first bit of circuit bending. I'm not really much of a musician and I thought that uh, therefore music circuit bending probably wasn't that much use to me. Um, and the interesting thing about video is that uh, there's less video bends around, I think partly because it's more technical and therefore it's harder for people to get into, um, and partly because it's kind of quite bulky, and that's also, I guess, a disadvantage. So I wanted to do something that was a bit different and something that uh, didn't need a lot of musical skill, and hence the video stuff. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good.
How good is that? It's only when the when the mini jack is to, is like on a certain position. Must be mini jack. Must be stopping the connection.